Thank you so much for that introduction, Sonia. And hello, my name is Pig, Pig on PC in 4K. And this here is Nutmeg. Hi, everybody. Today, we're going to be showing you all Echo Arena, which is essentially stadium-style soccer in space. That's right. And Echo VR is an eSport in which over 3,600 athletes compete worldwide for big titles and big prizes. Absolutely right. And joining us here on the stage today, folks, we've got four of the top athletes in Echo VR right here to give you guys a performance and let you see what the future of sporting events have in store. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce on the blue team, Athena Storm and Dewey Blank. And on the orange team, we've got Save Yourself and Jade Michael. All right, so what we're about to see right now is we're going to see these four athletes project their physical selves into cyberspace and take all of the physical athleticism that they have developed and all of the skills that they have learned and put it into that VR space, into this virtual arena, and go back and forth and score and shoot and pass. And it's going to be really exciting right here. Absolutely right. And we're getting things started the right way here with a three-minute round, ladies and gentlemen, orange versus blue. Here we go. Getting that disc all the way down to the blue side. Getting that immediate action started for you. That's what I like to see. Yes, getting that disc deep into blue territory. It's Jade. But then it's cleared away by Dewey Blank immediately. All the way back down to the orange side. Now, folks, it is getting into the danger zone for the orange team right here about 20, 30 seconds in almost. And boom, just like that. You see how fast these guys have to be. They have to grab that disc out of each other's hands or intercept it and then fly to the other side to put it in the goal. That's right, really important right here. It's really quick just traversal across the arena, intercepting the disc, intercepting passes, and getting that disc out of your zone and into the enemy zone as quickly as possible. That's right, time is of the essence in uh, play sessions such as this because you really only have a small amount of time. Two pointer right there, baby. That is an inside shot by Dewey Blank right past the defense of Athena, or, or save yourself right there. Amazing shot, amazing shot by Dewey. So starting up the, the lead 2-0 for a blue team. And out they come from these tubes. We're going to see them launch out of these tubes super fast. There they go, launching it. And folks, it is also worth mentioning, these players are pelting each other in the head because that will stun you on the battlefield. That disc is now floating down below because somebody did lose the disc. That's right, we saw a double stun there. So both teammates, th both players were stunned as the disc flew free. And now Jade Michael trying to get it out of there, but intercepted again. Interception indeed. In fact, they fumbled that disc there for just a moment. And now it's getting into the danger zone for the blue team. Oh, a long shot almost makes oh it there from goodness. Dewey. Very, very close on the rebound there, folks. And in fact, that shot was so fast, it bounced right back down to his own zone. All the way back into the defensive zone now, folks. That is the problem when you're dealing with a stadium in space, is things will float. And without, with zero gravity, it's going to go until it stops. And there's another inside shot from Dewey Blank. What a fantastic double pointer right there for Dewey. 17 meter per second disc speed on that one. That's a fast throw. Yeah, only from three meters though. So it was a, basically a slam dunk. And that is 4-0 now for Blue Team. With one minute and a half left to go. Here they come out through their tubes. And they are off. Orange Team gonna get their hands on the disc first. Trying to get it down into the blue zone so they can make up as much time and as much distance as they can. They are down by four points at the moment. That's right, we saw Jade Michael narrowly get missed in that joust and now into blue zone, getting that long shot off, but didn't quite make it. And now blue is in possession and can get it out of there and try for another scoring attempt of their own. Look at that long throw, folks. It is worth mentioning that if you throw the disc from further away, you get more points. So Orange Team really wants to get that disc in their goal as fast as possible from as far as possible to get them back on that four point loss. That's right, with a minute, only less than a minute left to go, they need at least a three pointer right now to get them close enough to get at least a tie down to the final 45 seconds of this event now, folks. These are some of the top players in Echo VR from all around the world coming out onto this stage right now, putting their hearts on the line, trying to prove themselves to be the very next generation of virtual sports enthusiasts. And we saw some great defense there by Jade Michael, getting the disc out of his zone and, and just preventing from Blue from scoring again. But it is still 4-0 and everyone... Wow! What we... a long shot! Three-pointer right there by Save Yourself! All the way from the orange zone, it was a very long shot, and it made it for three points. They are back in this, ladies and gentlemen, with 26 seconds remaining. They are now at a 4v3, and this could be anybody's game. You can see up there as well, we had a 53% possession ratio for the orange team, which means they are in control of that disc in majority. And there was a big bash up at the, at the joust there, and now the 
disc is stuck in blue team's zone. There it goes. They batted it off and over to the orange team. Remember, blue team is one point ahead. All they have to do is hang on to it for just a few more seconds. Final five now. Yeah, as we see, Jade Michael get the disc and throw it back into the blue zone, but it is too late, and that round is going to go to the blue team. First round, blue team win, ladies and gentlemen. A very close game that was as well, Nutmeg. Four and three, I mean, you really can't ask for much more competitiveness than that. That was a very exciting long shot there from Jade Michael out of the orange zone, all the way into blue zone and into the goal. And just like that, a team, a, a, a round can change. That's right. In a matter of milliseconds, things can change on a virtual battlefield, folks. In the real world battlefield, in the real world uh, sports field, you are going to be out there racing against your other uh, athletes. And in this case, you're going to be standing in position, jumping around, trying your best to make every single advantage in this virtual uh, game space possible for yourself and your team. And with the speed we're about to see, save yourself and Jade Michael launch out of this tube. You can see exactly how fast they can get to the disc and get to the opposite side of the arena. There they go. And there's the joust. And we have two stuns go down. A fantastic double stun right there, right dead center of the game. And Orange is in possession now, trying their best to get that disc on over to the blue side as early as possible with two minutes and 40 seconds remaining. And they that, get a three pointer. That was a beautiful, long banking pass by Jade Michael, straight to save yourself, who was able to get the shot in past defense. And they are now in an early lead, three to zero. That's right, and folks, this is a tiny goal. I mean, you're dealing with a, a, a small goal at the end of a battlefield, far from you. And these folks are out here making hard throws to get it all the way down there and in the end zone. That's right, imagine while flying through the air, launching a Frisbee at a square that you can barely see. And that takes, the, you can see the accuracy that Save Yourself just has right there in that long shot. Blue in possession now, dragging that disc all the way over to the orange goal, and nobody there to defend it. Three-pointer! And just like that, we see Dewey Blank tying up the game with a long shot of his own. Looky there, folks. Save yourself. Already six on the points. Really doing the hard work for the Orange team right now. I'd love to see uh, Jade keep up that effort there and really make, uh, make a stride to get rid of this tie. That's right. So it's Jade, Michael, and save yourself now with possession and flying into blue zone. But Jade got bumped right there. And so he, there's the, the disc going deep into blue zone on its own. There they go. They got possession back now. Orange team trying desperately to use these last two minutes to their advantage, folks. They're behind the goal, and they're taking that two-pointer shot. Great mobility there by Jade Michael, traversing across the, the, the court, getting the disc behind the goal, and getting from behind and getting that inside shot. That's right. Now, folks, we were just calling out Jade there for needing to put in a little more team effort, and absolutely that is what he did. We see there that a 54% possession rate was coming out for the Orange team. They're really hanging on to control of this disc. They are fighting for the tie of this two, this round match right here. There they go, battling it out. And we see all those stuns going down now. So with all the physicality of Echo, you can see grappling, stunning, Disabling teammates, and there's Dewey Blank with the save. Very good interception right there, folks. Again, millisecond timing is what it takes out here. And just like in a real sporting event, these fellas, these lady fellas, are up against the same pressures. They only have a millisecond to grab that disc. Go! And there's another long shot by wow. Dewey. Uh, this is incredible, guys. They are getting that disc down the field so fast, using their teamwork, using that time to their advantage. And there's still a minute and a half remaining for round number two. Look at that, folks. Five shots taken for the Orange team so far. And look how many points they've got. They've got five right now. That means that these fellas are really doing their best. And an immediate, immediate pelt in the head there for Orange team. Losing possession, but getting it back quick. That's right. We saw a slower start this time from Save Yourself and Jade Michael waiting for the speed joust to come in. One of them getting stunned in the head. And then is Jade Michael now getting the score. That was amazing. He missed that initial shot. Then he went back on the rebound and nailed it. They're in the lead. Bringing Orange Team now back to the lead, 7-6 to six with 1 minute and 17 left to go. This is going to be a very exciting wrap-up here, folks. With a minute 15 remaining, 7-6 and six on the overall score. Blue on the downside of that one, but in possession of the disc, getting it all the way down to the Orange side. Let's see whether or not they can manage to take their names all the way to fame today. That's right, Jade Michael and Save Yourself all double-teaming against Dewey Blank there, but then there goes a stun from Athena. Disabling Jade Michael. And it's a long shot, and it tips the goal. Just off of the bar there. And we see the stuns go down again, disabling both of those players. And, but Jade Michael is there for the rebound. Is he going to be able to get the long float? And nope. He got stunned again, folks. This is absolute for them. If they oh. cannot get this in this goal, they are going to risk losing to the blue team. And save yourself. And Jade Michael taking shot after shot at this goal. None of them landing, though. Here comes another opportunity for save yourself. 
And, and it goes it in! Two points! Wow. Now we're starting to see some lead here. Now they are enjoying a three-point lead. Nice, comfortable lead there. Three-pointer, that means that if the blue team really wants to hang on in this sporting event, they are going to have to make a long shot. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's right. You saw the possession, 60% for orange team. So they are maintaining control of the disc this round. And blue ends up actually dipping that disc all the way down into their side. Climbing aboard the wall there, though, to throw it down into the danger zone for the orange team. They may be able to hang on to this. That was almost a bank shot all the way from the tunnels there. Final 15 here, folks. You see the stuns going down for Athena. Blue team with possession and the shot oh on goal, but it's goodness. saved by Jade Michael. A fantastic save there. Possibly saving them the win. Jade Michael throwing it down range all the way to blue zone. Doesn't get the rebound there. And now Orange team is going to win this round 9-6. to six, Tying this up to 1-1. One to one. And we see save yourself with 8 points. Jade Michael with 4. And Dewey Blank with 10 for himself. And it's worth mentioning Jade's out there with a two on the assist as well. This guy's not just playing his own game, he's playing to help the team. And we see these athletes putting their fists in. Good games for everyone, well played. That's right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is all the time we have to show you the future of virtual reality sports. We are VR Esports League. I'm Pig on PC in 4K. And I'm Nutmeg. And thank you for joining us here at AWE 2022. How'd you guys like that? You guys want to see some more of that sometime? Yeah? All right. <laughs> so these guys are going to clear the stage. We're going to get ready for a nice special wrap-up from Ori and a few other special guests here this evening. We're really glad you came. And you guys can exit the stage here to the right. And um, thanks to Tim and Pesky for spotting behind stage. We really appreciate that. As you guys saw, they moved, so spotters are great. And um, we're glad you were all here to see that. So I'm going to hop off let our people clear the stage and we will see you guys at the after the event